Hi, I'm Pastor Todd. I'm one of the associate pastors here at the Way World Outreach, and I'm here to uh, share a little, about, a little bit about what fasting uh, has done for me and also share a devotional from the Word for you. Uh, but I just wanted to start out kind of by saying fasting for me is a way that helps me remove distractions that would keep me from hearing from God and stand on the course that He would have me to be on. Uh, and so it's kind of like this, it's like a horse. If, I don't know if you've ever noticed a horse, when his ears go up and are pointed forward, what he's doing is letting you know that he is concentrating on what's before him. He is, he's not distracted from things that are around him. It gives him clarity on what he is about to do, right? That's what, it, that's what fasting means for me. It keeps me from being distracted uh, by the things that would keep me from accomplishing what God would have me accomplish in this life. So when I fast, I'm able to concentrate on the Holy Spirit, right? I've fasted in the past, and here's some areas where I had to exercise fasting to make sure that I was making the right decisions. Of course, one in my marriage, being married for 33 years now, I remember going back when I first met my wife and felt like this was the one. I literally had to fast, spend some time fasting, knowing that this was from the Lord. I've also fasted uh, in times when I had to make decisions uh, about career, I mean, even career decisions. I fasted. I fasted uh, at times where I, I, we, I remember one time me and my wife were talking about relocating our family. We fasted about where God would lead us to raise our kids and what environment that we would need to raise them in. And of course, one more thing, just making important decisions in ministry. You should be fasting. And these are areas that I've fasted in and they help me to make good decisions and be where I am today in Christ. And I wanna encourage you to do the same. Well, now I wanna take you to a scripture. Uh, I'm gonna start out in verse nine. I'm gonna read these for you. Verse nine, it says, uh, after this, interview, the wise men went out their way, and uh, the star they had seen in the east guided them into Bethlehem. Uh, I went, it says, it went ahead of them and what, stopped over the place where the child was. Verse number 10, it says, when they saw the star, they were filled with joy. Verse 11, they entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshiped him. Then they opened their treasure's chest and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And then, of course, verse 12 it says, when it was time for them to leave, they returned to their own country by another route, for God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. Verse number 13, and what? The wise men were gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream says that get up, flee Egypt with the child and his mother. And the angel said, stay there until I tell you to return because what, Herod is going to search to kill the child. Verse number 14 says this, that night Joseph left for Egypt with the child and Mary his mother. 15, and they what, stayed until Herod, what, his death was fulfilled, it, well, uh, till Herod's death, this fulfilled what the Lord has spoken through the prophet, I called my son out of Egypt. Now, I, I thought about what verse I could get a takeaway from, and uh, for me, it was out of verse nine. And I think verse nine kind of lined up, it actually lines up with why we fast. Uh, but here, it says right here, verse nine, again, I'm gonna read it for you. It says, after the wise men came out of an interview, as we know, they met with Herod prior to their journey, uh, and Herod gave them an assignment on what they were to do. Sometimes you may be on an assignment, and it don't seem like it's maybe an assignment that you need to be on, but that's why you need to be in tune with the Holy Spirit and fasting to make sure you're on the course with the Lord. This star that they had seen in the east guided them to a place where the child was. Now, I believe for us, this star is a representation of the leading of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer today, right? They followed the star, the star led them on the assignment that God had for them. I believe fasting is that type of representation. It will lead you to the course that God has for you and stop you right there. I also wanna say this, that whatever assignment Jesus has you on, trust in the leading of the Holy Spirit. So I want you to understand this, fasting is like a tool in a toolbox. Fasting is, is, is something that will help you maintain clarity. It will also keep you from giving into distractions that will stop you from reaching the goal that God has for you, right? It says that we are to stay focused on the Holy Spirit as it leads our lives today. So I wanna just say this real quick. I, I'm gonna pray, but I'm gonna pray for you with my eyes open because I want you to see this. I want you to hear this. It says, I, I wrote it like this. I pray that 
uh, we're blessed that you were blessed by this devotional. I want you to keep fasting, right? Keep on going so that you can maintain what clarity and that you can maintain of uh, 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 not getting distracted as you continue to go through these devotionals, all right? God bless you and God keep you. I love you. Peace out, PT. Amen. Amen.